You will stretch out your hands and others will dress you as we will do today and take you where you do not want to go. That is precisely what will happen today. That is truly what serving the Lord is all about, about being in his hands and being his hands and feet and let him decide over my life and future. To be a prisoner for Christ, as Paul said. To be in the chains of Christ. I mean, there are worst prisons to imagine. Maybe we even have to reflect a bit more on that being a prisoner of Christ. Paul himself is very clear about the fact that he found Christ there in the dungeon. There in the prison, in his darkest hour, in the stench and the suffering of a dark and filthy prison cell. It was there that he was able to identify with the sufferings of Christ, more than at the table of the powerful or at the golf club. He was able to find Christ, the King of kings, of lords and lords, in the darkness of a prison cell. What I want to say to you, dear Peter, is that the life of a bishop is not about honor and respect. It's not about being with the powerful. It is not about being a politician yourself. We leave that to others. It is not about being proud or fixed on money, waiting for the famous brown envelope. It's not about ruling with an iron fist or looking for revenge when you feel hurt in your honor. A large part of the missionary activity of Paul was down there in the dungeon. It was done there in the darkness and the anonymity of a prison cell. Actually, and very few of us realize that many of the letters of St. Paul were written during his prison time. You see how God's grace works? Paul himself says about it, when I'm weak... I am strong. Dear Father Peter, God, through his church, has chosen you to become a bishop. And today, you will be made into the Bishop of Embu. But always keep in mind that you are not the bishop for a particular group of people. So to say, one tribe or a particular mountain or a particular class, or a particular conviction. When made a bishop, you're always bishop of the universal church. Today you are in Embu. Tomorrow you could be sent far away from here. Today, today it's Mount Kenya. Tomorrow it could be Mount Elgin. Actually, first and foremost, you should identify with those who are less known to you. And you know that very well because prisoners are those who are excluded from society and who are many times not even known by name. Speak with those who do not speak your language, who do not have your culture, who are not your class of people. You may find Christ more easily and more profoundly with those who do not mean anything in society than with those who are powerful and with money. 